Welcome to Marinda's Maternal and Child Health Service Digital Workshop on Feeding Your Baby. I'm Tani, one of the Maternal and Child Health Nurses. Introducing your baby to solid foods at the right time is an important step in their development to keep them happy and healthy. Please remember though that this is a general guide only. There is no one universal guideline on feeding babies over six months of age. Different cultures and countries will introduce different foods at varying ages according to custom. For families needing individualised information, please speak with your local maternal and child health nurse. The World Health Organisation and National Infant Feeding Guidelines recommend exclusively breastfeeding babies until they are at least six months of age. Babies who do not breastfeed need infant formula. When babies reach six months, their iron stores decrease and they need food to support their growth and development. All babies develop differently, so please watch your baby for signs that they are ready to start solids. You will see your baby has good head control and can sit unsupported. They might start reaching for your food or watch while you eat and drink. Your baby will also develop more control of their tongue and open their mouth when food is offered. Try not to wait too long after six months to start solids as your baby needs nutrients from other foods to continue to grow and develop. If your baby is younger than six months old, when they start showing these signs, you can start solids but only offer simple foods until they reach six months. Once you start your baby on solids, the goal is to increase the variety of foods they eat so they get all the nutrients they need. You should focus on iron rich foods as these will give your baby energy they need to learn, play and grow. It helps to maintain a healthy immune system and supports optimal brain growth. Remember solids can be introduced in any order. At six months of age, your baby can have red meat, fish, tofu, beans, lentils, vegetables, fruits and dairy foods such as full fat yogurt, cheese, eggs and custard. You should also continue to offer breast milk or formula until your baby is at least 12 months old. It's also important to introduce allergenic foods from six months of age, as this can help reduce your baby's risk of developing a food allergy. These foods include well-cooked egg, nuts in the form of a paste, fish, wheat and cow's milk, but not as a drink. If there is a family history or a known allergy in your baby, it's good to seek individualised professional advice. The best time to offer your baby solids is generally within an hour of milk feeds and at a time of day when both you and your baby are relaxed. Remember to be patient as your baby may start eating only one to two teaspoons of food at a time. This will increase with practice and as they start to get a taste for their favourite foods. You can increase the number of meals each day once your baby is eating a couple of tablespoons per sitting. After eight months, you can start offering foods before a milk feed. This is the beginning of weaning from breast or formula milk feeds. You can continue to offer it in reduced amounts as the baby gets older. For example, after eight months of age, you can drop a milk feed each month or so. At around 12 months of age, your baby should be eating most of your family meals in a modified form. For example, roast meat, veggies, slow cooked casseroles, pastas and sandwiches. Babies do not need any added salt or sugar in their foods. If you are cooking with a stock, you should use a low sodium product. Some foods will still need to be cut into smaller pieces according to your baby's individual development. Remember, it often takes babies and toddlers repeated exposure to a food before they develop a like and acceptance. Babies will often refuse new foods when they are first offered. It's important for parents to remember they decide on the food offered and when it will be offered, babies will decide on how much they will eat. Babies have fluctuating appetites and they will vary how much they eat from day to day. If the first foods you introduce are smooth, you need to introduce more textured foods quickly to encourage your baby to chew. To help with this, you can offer food that they can hold themselves, like soft pieces of cooked fruit or vegetables. This not only encourages self-feeding, but also gives them something to chew on. Grated cheese makes a great finger food. You can also give food more texture by leaving it slightly lumpy when you're mashing it. Research shows that infants not given lumpy textured foods until after 10 months of age have more feeding difficulties at 15 months than those given lumpy food between six and nine months of age. 
There are some foods that can be dangerous for babies under 12 months and should be avoided. These include honey, raw eggs, or foods that pose a choking risk. Honey may contain a bacteria that causes botulism, which can make babies very unwell. They also do not need foods with added salt or sugar. While babies can have well-cooked egg, it is important they are not served raw egg in any format, for example, mayonnaises and some sauces. While it can be very distressing to see your baby trying to clear their throat, it is important to remember that choking is very different to gagging. Gagging is a reflex action that helps to prevent choking. In fact, unlike gagging, where the child will make a retching noise, choking is silent. The baby may not be able to talk or cry and they may develop a blue tinge to their skin. Gagging is a common response when infants are making the transition from smooth to lumpy foods or when learning to chew. It can be triggered by fingers, food, a spoon or toys touching the back of the mouth. The gag reflex reduces at around six months of age, the same time at which most babies are learning to eat solid foods. Some children have a sensitive gag reflex and will gag more easily. A child that gags often will cough to dislodge the food or vomit. This is okay, but it's important to remember that babies and young children are always supervised when eating. Items smaller than a 20 cent piece can choke a child aged three years and less. For example, raw hard pieces of fruit or veggies, pieces of meat, bones, sausage skins, and nuts. As your child progresses with developmental milestones, different risks may present. To give you peace of mind, it might be a good time to consider attending a first aid course. For children under 12 months of age, breast milk or formula should remain the main source of drink. The World Health Organization recommends giving babies cooled, boiled water from six months of age. This should be offered in an age appropriate cup. You should not give your baby any sweet drinks. These include all fruit juices, flavored milks, soft drinks, energy drinks, cordials, and flavored water either purchased or made at home. Juice comes from fruit and vegetables and is easily mistaken as healthy alternatives to water. However, sweetened drinks can lead to a variety of undesired outcomes for your baby. Full cream milk is a great source of protein, calcium, and other nutrients. However, make sure that it has been pasteurized. You can introduce cow's milk to your baby's food by adding it to cereal, making it into a sauce on top of meat, veggies, or pasta. But it's important that it's not used as a replacement for breast milk or formula until after the age of one. Other things to note, dairy should be full cream varieties until at least the age of two and never give your child raw unpasteurized milk. Babies no longer need formula unless medically indicated beyond 12 months. If you are breastfeeding, you can continue to do so beyond 12 months. This is a choice made by the mother and the child based on their own needs and situation. To make the experience as enjoyable for all of you, try to make mealtime social and fun. You can do this by having meals together as a family and turning off the TV or devices at mealtimes. Don't force or bribe your baby to eat. They will do it in their own time. All you need is a soft spoon, a plate or a bowl. Any other gadgets they are not developmentally ready for can pose a safety risk and are not recommended. And remember, getting messy is all part of this. Enjoy the experience with your baby and try not to worry about what gets thrown on the floor or smeared into their clothing. We've already talked through a lot of information, but here's some key points I want you to remember. Babies often refuse new food when they are first offered it. This is normal. And babies may need to be offered foods many times before they like them. It goes back to one of my favorite sayings. Parents provide, kids decide. Eating solid foods is just another part of learning for your baby and they all do it in their own time. If you have any questions or you would like to discuss your individual circumstances, please contact your maternal and child health nurse. Alternatively, you can contact the Marinda Maternal and Child Health Service on 9294 5777.